I had like the opposite experience as in like, I met my husband and he's six years older than me. And he was immediately like, so we're having kids tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm still in my mid twenties and I became like a mom, like so quickly, uh, which is fine. But like, you can definitely, life takes you in these really bizarre roads that you never expect to be on. So I completely yes. understand, but in a reversed kind of way. Yeah. I love that though. And I think that's like a big, yeah, it's a, it's a big message. It's a really, really big message. I want, you know, women, all women to hear and, and really everyone out there. I think, you know, in the case of this, it maybe seems like this cool, different thing to do. And it is, and I'm so grateful for it, but it's like, it also requires you to take a chance, you know? And I think that's true in a lot of things in life. I've had plenty of things in my life, um, you know, just as we discussed, not work out according to my plans, and I can be very type A, and I, I want to plan, and I, I want to know what direction I'm moving, but at a certain place, I think you have to just like step back and say, hey, here's what I want. How am I going to make this happen? And then be open to the opportunities that you you are getting, um, and take the leap. Like You have to be willing to go for it, and you have to be willing to keep putting yourself out there. If I'd given up two years ago, three years ago, I, you know, wouldn't be here now. Um, and I think this is a pretty special story that I'm really grateful to get to be a part of. My husband and I have a motto and we'd say it to all of our friends that are like dating. You're only going to be right once. That's it. So you're, yeah. you're going to be wrong trillions of times. So true. times and that's, that's normal. That's like yeah. the normal experience of finding someone and your first love being it is just so rare that that's not normal, but you, you being wrong a million times is more likely and you're only going to be right once. So all of the heartbreak that you go through, everyone goes through it. And it's just like, you're, when you're done, you're done. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. And I think, you know, the biological baby piece kind of comes into play and that's where suddenly things can feel a little panicky, right? Because you always have time to fall in love, you know, and I do, I do believe that, but unfortunately biology hasn't necessarily caught, caught up to that. And I think a lot of things have changed in modern life. Um, so it's trying to navigate that and figure out, you know, kind of how to have it all. You know, what's so crazy is that women like yourself who are 40, who know exactly what they want, but then you have men who are 40, 50 years old and still like, well, I don't know what I want yet. <laughs> it's so funny yeah. the gender difference w w when it comes to like that kind of mindset. I mean, honestly, I will say two things. I will say the group of men on the show are, are really impressive and I think are going to be really refreshing to women. Um, and a lot of their stories were quite similar to mine. You know, they had invested a lot in their careers. They, they have all done very different, interesting things and kind of found themselves in the same place where they were ready for family, but not meeting the right person, not meeting someone that they saw themselves having a family with. That being said, some of the wishy-washiness, I think it's because they do have time. I mean, it, it's the truth. Like when your back is up against the wall and you have to make decisions, like it's go time, right? Like guys don't have the same hard stop that women do. And that's really unfair, but I do think it allows some ambiguity, like, oh, it'll happen. You can just keep prolonging that timeline. Um, and, and women, unfortunately, don't have, don't have the same timeline. But I think that's why a lot of women, whatever they decide to pursue, kind of hit 40 and they start really being decisive about what they want, very intentional about what they let into their life. And um, I think that's like the upside of it. And then you get to have like this really amazing life for the rest of your life. And I wouldn't trade that. 